One year ago, I released a six part series all about Scientology. And the last couple of weeks have been a bit crazy. So I wanted to jump on here and kind of let you know what's happened since then and what's gonna be happening next. Now, I did say I would let you guys know if I received any fair game action as per LRH policy, but I can confirm that at the time of recording this video, happy Easter, by the way, I have not received any fair game action yet. I did receive a mysterious phone call from Scientology last week, which may or may not have been an accident. You can uh, judge that for yourselves. I'll leave it down below. But apart from that, I have heard nothing. Now that's not to say that they aren't out there fair gaming people. Just last week, A.A. Ron from Growing Up in Scientology caught a P.I. outside of his freaking house. What the fuck? So they're definitely still up to some shenanigans. So as always, I will of course update you if my situation changes. After I finished the series, I honestly thought I was done with Scientology. Spoiler alert, I was wrong. I wanted to do something else. I was just sick of Scientology. I needed a break from it. Um, and I thought, oh, I know, I'll, I'll just, I'll make some videos about my new obsession, which is Lego, which it is, and it's awesome. And if you don't like that, then, you know, we can't be friends. It's not what's gonna be on this channel. I made a couple videos, it totally bombed, and it did not work here. And to be honest, with the cult videos and the Lego videos, they just, they just, they don't marry up. So I removed them from my channel. But if you do want to see my Lego, I do post them on Instagram. So I'll leave my Instagram down there so you can check out what's behind me. It's kind of a cool background though, I think. I started this channel during the pandemic, during the lockdown, when I was bored as hell, wanted something fun to do. And it was a really fun little project. I was doing but as soon as lockdown was over you know I went back to work I had my social life back I wasn't really sure how to manage a channel at the same time as well then in 2021 we sadly lost my beautiful grandma she passed away in November on her 80th birthday she's an absolute hero she was loved by everyone she always spoke her mind um, and she always made me laugh as well. When I was a little kid, she was like my favorite human. She always gave me way too many sweets, um, <laughs> but she always encouraged my creativity. She would listen to any song I made up or any weird little show I would try put on for her. She was always so, so there for me and I will always, always miss her. Then in 2022, I had the absolute joy of going to my youngest brother's wedding. Ah! I'm a very proud big sister, all right. I'm so, so proud of him and the man that he's become. It's literally like my favorite family memory that I have. I just love that, you know, with all the bullshit we've had to deal with, he was just so happy. I love to see him just have this beautiful moment with someone I know he absolutely adores and who absolutely loves him too. It was absolutely wonderful and it was honestly my highlight of 2022. Then we fast forward to a couple of weeks ago. My series started picking up in the YouTube algorithm. I have no idea why. A few creators reached out to me and asked if I would be willing to come and have a chat with them and talk with them on their channels. I said yes. So about two weeks ago, I did an interview on growing up in Scientology with Aaron Smith Levin. And oh my gosh, I was nervous. That was the first ever live interview I've ever done and my like comeback to YouTube all in one. So I was kind of bricking it if I'm honest. I was really excited to talk to him. I'm a fan, he's great. I had first seen Aaron on Scientology and the Aftermath with Leah Remini and his episode literally broke my heart. Like I was just in tears. If you haven't watched that series, like it's honestly, 
incredible and you need to go and see it. So coming from that and seeing what he's done with the Aftermath Foundation and what he's doing on YouTube, I just have huge respect for him and I think it's absolutely brilliant. Look, I don't think I'm a particularly great interviewee, but you know, I was interrogated for years, so I think I was just a bit triggered by being asked questions. But I will say Aaron was so kind, really patient with me. You know, at the end of the day, this stuff is trauma. Trauma is really hard to talk about. So I think it's okay that I struggled with some of that and found that uh, difficult to do. Um, I'm so glad and grateful that he had me on the channel and allowed me the space to talk about it um, in the way that I did. We have stayed in touch and we're gonna be making some more videos in the future. More on that later. The amount of support from you guys from that video honestly blew my mind. I was like, what is going on? Please know I have read all of your comments. You guys are epic. So I just wanted to say thank you for listening to my story. Thank you for contributing to the conversation about Scientology. You know, us all talking about it is what will enact change. If we don't say anything, then nothing can change. So. Thank you for doing that and being involved in all of this. I also interviewed with Apostate Alex, a UK Scientology YouTuber. He has a really interesting story about Scientology. He actually joined when he was just 14. And I don't know how that even happens. I think we are gonna do an interview soon and I'd love to talk to him more about what that was like. And there's also a mystery. So this whole thing really was kind of a mystery to you. Yeah, through the the DSA called me up the night before the IS event and said you can't come because you have a connection. Dude, there's a mystery here that has been unsolved. Why did they kick Alex out? Why? Scientology, if you're watching, why'd you kick him out though? What did he do? He was selling your books. He was doing everything. Probably for the best though. Just today, I had an interview with Andrew Gold. Yes, YouTube solution to Louis Theroux. I absolutely love this guy, he's brilliant. He's got incredible interviews on his channel and that should be out in the next few weeks. So when it goes out, I will um, link it so you can see it if you don't already watch him. Um, if you don't already watch him, what are you doing? Because his interviews are absolutely amazing. He talks to people from all different kinds of cults and things and they're just so insightful and really well made. So go and check out Andrew Gold on the Edge. I think I'm also gonna be chatting with Claire Headley at some point too. She's just wonderful, isn't she? Like, she's brilliant. I have loads of respect for her. She makes videos on the channel Blown For Good with her husband, Mark Headley, and they are just wicked as a team. Um, and she's so, so, so nice. So we've been chatting a bit and I think we're gonna do some videos soon too. As for content on this channel, I have a new idea for a new series. I basically want to do a series with a focus on life after Scientology. I want to interview some of these activists that work tirelessly to inform all of us about this dangerous, dangerous organisation. I'm really interested how they rebuilt their lives after years of abuse and trauma in the Church of Scientology. I think it will be helpful for people in cults who want to leave but they're not sure what life is going to look like. I think telling their stories will provide some confidence for those people that you know you can rebuild your life and live a relatively normal life maybe bar some PIs waiting outside your house every now and again. <laughs> I have got four people who have said yes so far which I am so excited about so stay tuned for that and I'll be hopefully getting more people I can interview on here too. I honestly think it's gonna be awesome. I also plan to branch out with my videos. You know, I'm fascinated by like the dark corners of society, the mysterious things. So I want to do things on Scientology, of course. That was scary. What the fuck was that? Okay. Cults, conspiracies, true crime, mysteries, that sort of thing. So I'll be doing some deep dives on a few of those that I find interesting as well. If there's any that you guys are into that you think are really, really crazy or fascinating, please leave them in the comments or you can send me an email as well. 
um, you can find it in my about page on my YouTube channel. If you made it this far in the video, thank you. I'm so excited to be back and I will see you in the next video. Bye.